Proud Islamophobe and outspoken far-right activist Laura Luma just won the Republican primary for the U.S. House District in Florida that's home to Donald Trump and his Mar-a-Lago resort. Here are five things you should know about her. During the 2016 U.S. presidential elections, she was working for Project Veritas, a right-wing sting operation led by conservative political activist James O'Keefe, during which she wore a black modest dress worn by Muslim women and asked for a ballot under the name Huma Abedin, a woman of Indian and Pakistani descent who was the vice chair of Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. In June 2017, she disrupted the public theater's rendition of Shakespeare's Julius Caesar in Central Park, which portrayed Caesar as a Trump-like figure who was brutally murdered. Freedom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause. We're going to pause. Security. Security, please. During the outburst, she also claimed that both the Public Theatre and CNN were Daesh supporters. She used to work for far-right social media platform Rebel News, which is fairly outspoken on its anti-Muslim and racist views. March against Sharia! There's no such thing as an Islamic feminist! To bring awareness, because there's no such thing as an Islamic feminist. Islamic feminism is incompatible. In November 2017, Luma was banned from rideshare apps Uber and Lyft after tagging them in a tweet that read, Someone needs to create a non-Islamic form of Uber or Lyft because I never want to support another Islamic immigrant driver. She followed it with another tweet that said, Uber will literally hire an Islamic terrorist, but they will ban a conservative journalist for addressing legitimate safety concerns. She was also banned from using the food delivery app Uber Eats. She was eventually banned from Twitter in November 2018 after criticizing U.S. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar for her faith. They said that this tweet is a violation of their terms of service for hateful conduct. Ilhan is pro-Sharia. Ilhan is pro-FGM, which is female genital mutilation. Ilhan is anti-Jewish. You know, Mr. President, please do something. I'm asking you now for the second time, because if you want to win in 2020, you need to ensure that your supporters have a voice on social media. She has since been banned on Instagram, Facebook, Medium, PayPal, Venmo, and GoFundMe for her far-right and anti-Muslim views.